Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Reaper. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Ghost video. Today, uh, I'm just going to be talking about Advanced Warfare and why I'm so pumped for this game and a lot of the features and new things that I'm excited about. And um, yeah, the gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background is a 33-0 Infected MSBS um, Chemstrike on Sage. Um, it's on Xbox 360 and uh, yeah, it's pretty much all the information about the gameplay. So, I'm going to jump into just a bunch of stuff I'm so excited about for Advanced Warfare and um, I just am so pumped for this game. You know, this game really needs to revive the series. You know, if, the, if Call of Duty wants to continue to be, you know, the dominant title of consoles, then um, it really needs this game to go big because Ghost just didn't do anything. If anything, it freaking cut the fan base in half and it really took a big down step in my opinion and there's only a few new good things about it, but this game is just, it, it's looking crazy. So I'm just going to jump right into it. One of the first things, which is one of the most obvious things I'm excited about is the XO suits and, um, you know, these allow you to double jump and, you know, jump higher and stuff, kind of like in Titanfall. You can also slide to the right and to the left and there's tons of other features within these, uh, like the slam and other tons of awesome features that you can unlock and customize as you go through the game and this is just one you know th thing that they've done that's just crazy like if you think about it you know we're still keeping the call of duty feel while adding the aspect of you know one of the big things about titanfall is the double jump and you know your ability to jump up on buildings easily and stuff and then they're just customizing it even more than you could in, in titanfall so that's you know already just a big step on that game that people said was better than call of duty um Another thing I'm excited about, tons of guns, you know, if you count all the different variations, there's over 350, you know, total variation guns, all that stuff, it's just, it's just crazy, you know, there's tons of different levels of guns you can unlock, you know, with different features um, that are more powerful and more rare, and I think it's just, it, it's, it's going to be awesome, it's, um, it's a huge step, and it's just going to add more fun to the game, and, um, you know, another thing I'm excited for is the tons of different grenades, um, specialty grenades, and all that stuff, you know, they've really added some variations, they look really cool, the grenades themselves look awesome, um, you know, graphics look really good in this game, I'm, I'm really, I'm excited for it, you know, I can't even say enough good stuff about this game so far, there's not a lot of bad stuff I've seen, um, if anything, the perks is probably the worst thing I've seen. Um, you know, that's not even bad, but it's just there are a couple perks that I'm kind of questioning, especially Danger Close. But, um, you know, we'll see how they can get around that. I'm sure they will. But, yeah, the grenades, you know, there's tons of cool features within the grenades that are just going to allow us, you know, to just kick ass. I mean, especially, like, the scanner grenade or whatever where you throw it and you can see people through walls in a quick, like, scan. That's pretty cool. We saw that in the multiplayer trailer. Um... Another thing I'm excited for, really excited for, because Call of Duty Ghost did not do this too good, in my opinion, was Killstreaks, and um, we haven't seen all the Killstreaks because we've only seen what was at Gamescom and what was on the multiplayer reveal trailer, but there's a ton of sweet Killstreaks in Call of Duty Ghost, and um, one of the biggest things about it is the ability to attach, you know, to have attachments for these and make them, you know, better for, of co a, uh, it costs something, of course, you have to you know, maybe add 200 points if you want to add this attachment, you know, to make the UAV sweep faster or whatever, stuff like that, that is just going to be huge, it's going to add so much diversity to the game, especially, I can't wait to see how this plays out in the competitive scene, but, you know, the attachment system within Killstreaks is going to be awesome, you know, the Killstreaks themselves are going to be awesome, way better than Ghost, I'm, I'm so far from what I've seen, so... I'm really excited for that. It was one of the biggest things is kill streaks, and you know, looks like they're going to be doing that pretty good. Another thing, the pick 13 system for your classes. Now, if you remember the Black Ops 2, we had a pick 10 system where you know you're almost completely free to what you could put where and stuff. Um, you know, it was a pretty free system with you know you could use 10 points, and now we have a pick 13 system. But what's interesting is the score streaks are part of this system. So you know, if you want to just straight up run UAV and then use you know those extra two points compared to black ops 2 you know on extra perks then you could just be a super soldier just straight up running uavs just running through people you know i can definitely see that being a solid strategy running a uav and then using the two extra points um you know for a total of 12 points all on your perks and guns and stuff so the pick 13 system i'm really glad that that's coming back and um you know let's you know ghost just took a step back in so many aspects um i feel like they had a concept that they wanted to make for the game and then black ops 2 just completely killed it and then they couldn't just keep up with that so they just released this game and they're like you know whatever we can't there's not much we can do about it the game sucks you know they kind of just trying to hype it up even though there's not much to be hyped about um i'll probably make a video talking about why i think ghost is probably the worst call of duty uh sometime soon but back on to why advanced warfare might be the best call of duty ever um you know another great feature is the character customization is just going to be out of this world um it's going to be crazy compared to any other call of duty there's just a level of detail 
in the character customization. It's going to be crazy. And, um, you know, pretty hyped up for that. And, um, you know, people are going to love going for stuff and getting the loot packages or whatever, trying to f unlock new stuff. You know, there's a new game mode that looks pretty cool as well. The map design looks really awesome. And the possible return of zombies um, is, is all things I'm excited about in this game. You know, leave in the comments, you know, what you guys are excited for about in this game. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.